We will start with Roshani. Go ahead. Hello, Professor. <sighs> Professor, I'm just sharing the slide just a minute. Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to take time, but let's see. Oh, just a sec. I have to give you all the, you know, multiple participants. So there we go. Just a minute, okay. I thought, you know, in general, the presentations last time were exciting, and I hope the other students thought so too and inspiring. Ma'am, uh, how much time we get for presentation? Well, how many minutes? Well, I don't. I guess about eight, but it, it varies, right? I mean, when you're done with your presentation, you're done, so. Oh, okay, okay. And then if we get done early, I want everyone, I'm gonna call on everyone to have a question or a comment for one of the other students, okay? So you can just, you know, say, okay, Mahira, I really liked yours because I'm like you, you know, I like Artemis and Athena, you know, just something. Everybody, if we have time, everyone will say something. Um, where are we? Roshani, are you there? Yes, Professor, I'm just presenting it now. Um, yeah. class. Uh, so can everybody else sort of be prepared or is it just that you can't prepare ahead or if there's any way to prepare ahead so that we don't wait, please do that now. But if there isn't, then there isn't. Um, okay, Roshani, should yeah, we? Yeah, done. done, Professor, done now. There we go. Can you see it? No, I see a whole bunch of things. I mean, <laughs> I, see, this, this I see your desktop. Now? No, no. dear. Re really? Oh my God. Maybe your net connection is so poor. Okay. You can mail it to it's me in an email. We need to move on now and send it in an email and I will go get it, okay? Okay, Professor, but... That's, it's life. Now? Well, it not? yes. Is it still not yes. showing? We got it. Okay, thank you, thank God. Very good. <laughs> I, I am so but... sorry, I don't want to stress people out. Um, True, but... uh, sorry <laughs> for that. Go ahead. I'm sorry go for ahead. that. <laughs> Okay, uh, so starting from my presentation. So uh, the goddess that I resemble or the goddess that I find within myself or within me are, okay, Apollo first and Athena and Artemis and Histia. So uh, let's see like what Apollo is. Okay, so for Apollo, you know, it's basically I noticed was music, dance, truth, prophecy, healing, disease, the sunlight, and uh, poetry, youth. So these things are very connected to me as, I let's see, what I, as I say, as uh, the thing that uh, caught me was music, as I said, right? Uh, music, dance, uh, and uh, the sunlight, poetry, and everything. So let's start why I regard myself as Apollo. So starting from my name, my name is Roshni, that I think you might all know by now. So which means light. What uh, the meaning of Roshni is actually light. And I think I have, uh, like my family was happy as I was. I was also the first, uh, yeah. I mean, I was the first uh, girl child, but still I was the first one who, you know, traveled uh, like outside and everything. So, uh, and uh, these things that I have a light within myself, light with my, uh, you know, uh, 
passion and everything and even I feel so and the next thing is as you see that I said I'm passionate in music which was from my early childhood from the since when I started you know understanding the languages I guess as my parents even say so the uh, and uh, also I'm very good at poetry I have uh, poetry and podcast um, presentation on YouTube uh, which you, I don't know if I could share a link I I could but it's in Nepali language actually so I don't think if you could you know able to understand it so um, and I'm always I have always been engaged in youth activism for example you know awareness volunteers and I've always been very active in this uh, awareness, in this field visit kind of thing. So I see myself as a strong Apollonian character. So the pictures here represents that. Uh, see, it also proves that I was so fond of singing, so fond of uh, speaking in the mass. Like I, every time in the school where there used to be a function, from my childhood, I think it was in eight class, seven or eight, and then in 12. And finally, till now, I'm still continuing, continuing to my, you know, passion and to my um, interest uh, of music and arts. So it was it. And Athena and Artemis. So uh, actually, initially, I thought I was Athena, kind of Athena, who was, uh, you know, uh, who was good at uh, knowledge and uh, confident enough. But then later on, I felt like, no, I'm also like an Artemis because I thought I was not that strong or um, capable but then uh, when I was going through the class and everything I feel like I'm also more like Artemis because as an Artemis I'm very confident I'm very vocal I am very um, I'm very straightforward actually and I love being um, I uh, I'm also good at like studies and uh, my childhood as I was actually very good at the studies than now so I um, I am actually very confident. I'm very, uh, you know, expressive. I love to, you know, keep my things and, um, and also I, I have a kind of a leadership quality, which I have uh, actually done it in my university from my school, uh, because I was a school captain uh, in my school. And uh, the awards that you could see is like, I used to get, I got the student of the year award uh, in my school. And the next one was creative student of the year award. So uh, those things, and you know, this one I put because I, was out of it like I was very uh, uh, I was very social I was uh, I, uh, I used to love involving around people and um, uh, sewing my uh, sewing myself with uh, the new talents that I have so I was always very um, interested to be presented in the media to be presented in the uh, outside uh, like in the publicly uh, where I could you know raise or where I could um i think at least create some impact through my way so this is it and uh next is hestia i choose hestia because um i have this nature of having a bit kindness there is a uh kind i feel myself very kind very emotional very um you know family oriented person because for me my family is the um very most uh, important and i'm um, within my family most of the time and it was, uh, this i think i felt it when i was you know abroad like when i was in a university and it affected me the most and now i am living uh, i'm and i feeling um very emotionally and feeling that uh, the importance of it actually because when you go far then that's when you realize how important is the family you know so um I am very kind, very lovable. Like I, um, sometimes I cry alone that I won't, don't want to share things uh, in public. Like uh, my, if I get disturbed with anything, uh, so does Hestia does that if she got any problem, then she won't share it to others, but she then rather comes to uh, her own private space and things. So that's what I am. And I love uh, in social service though, which uh, I'm proud to say that I'm also a, uh, you know, president in social service club now. And uh, I used to, you know, serve even in Nepal. I'm in various such uh, clubs, uh, uh, including, uh, 
Leo Club, including uh, there's so many with a uh, leadership club. So and uh, I love uh, to serve people. I am very caring, and I would say that I have a I am a tuition teacher now by profession, like <laughs> not profession, but my I'm just using my spare time as a tuition teacher where I teach junior kids, uh, and uh, for them. I'm always, uh, uh, you know, not so strict teacher. I always tease them with my kindness, with my, with uh, love and all the care. So uh, this is uh, what makes me feel like history, yeah? And so uh, I said not limited to this goddess because I am, I feel like I'm beyond this as well. For example, we, talk, we read about eco-feminism, eco-feminist and all, and I am, a great great nature lover i if you could see if you i have so many plants in my house i love being uh, within nature so um, i have those like eco-feminist kind of behavior and uh, i mean uh, not just because nature because i really care for earth i mean i uh, it was not me before. But, I mean, I used to love plants. I used to talk with plants that I had been saying this in every of the discussion. But later on, when I was going through, as I grew up, uh, grew up, I get more connected to the earth. And I used to question in everything, like when it comes about destruction, when it comes about construction of new things. So these things came within me. So uh, which I didn't include, but I wanted to mention that I'm more uh, towards ecofeminism as well, towards the equality, towards, you know, women's right and everything, so, women's right and justice. So, yeah, these things. And thank you so much for uh, listening to me and thank you so much for uh, having me in my presentation. Thank you. Very good. Um, okay, you want to bring it back? Yeah, okay, very good. Does anybody have a question or a comment? Yes, I have, I don't have any question, but I have a comment that she presented an interesting presentation. I loved it so much because like her archetype was so many, like, uh, uh, like uh, diversity in her uh, like uh, archetype and presentation. It was so interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Dolana. Anybody else? Um, is Marzia, is that a, an applause or a hand raise? Uh, no, that's not a hand raise, but I want to say that, Roshani, it was really amazing. Um, yeah, it was great. Okay, so Roshani, I guess I would recommend that it seems to me like you are obviously Aphrodite because she's the performer right <laughs> she's the one who creates poetry and art mostly Apollo doesn't necessarily like to perform okay and it's only one kind of music that he likes it's very ordered quiet music and um, I also kind of love those quiet music professor I mean the you know classical and uh, okay. the old ancient kind of thing that's yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, you could include that. You could also think maybe if that's the only kind, but in yeah. general, someone who likes to perform um, music would be more like Aphrodite, I think. The trouble I think is I can have a she gets associated, of yeah, she gets associated with a sex goddess so easily that it's hard to okay. sort of figure out. Um, and then the other one was when you work with kids, that's obviously Demeter. So, I mean, you could say, you know, that you're pretty much a combination of a yeah. lot of them. And that's fine with me. Um, I do think that all of you should notice, like my oldest daughter is definitely Athena. Like everything about her is Athena, but she's nice, right? I mean, in my youngest daughter is really a lot of things, right? like Roshani she like you can't she has at least five of them so my daughters are different in terms of you know how much they're focused in one way you know and how much they're focused in a number of different ways and then my daughter-in-law has a number of things but they're very different than my daughter so it's fun really it's 
but I, you know, I have to relate to each of them differently because they're different. Um, and so all of that is important. Um, any other comments before we move on to Melanie? Okay, Melanie, take it away. Okay, uh, let me screen share. Okay. Okay, can you guys see it? Yep. Okay, so this is my presentation on my essay of the goddesses. Um, okay, so when I was growing up, I identified mostly with Athena because of her, um, like the way she likes to strategize and her competitiveness. And when she makes a plan for something, she executes that plan. And um, so just starting up, I grew up and like I was born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. So just that environment, you know, you see a lot of violence or arguments and fights and that kind of shapes you into who you're supposed to be and your attitude. And so like we, I, I was taught not really to take disrespect. And if you receive disrespect, then you give it back. And I think that's just a product of the environment that I grew up in. And then also I identified with Athena because of my leadership skills um, in softball. I was, I ended up being a really good player. Um, I put in a lot of time to go to extra practices and extra lessons to be good. So that was kind of like my strategy behind it. And my end goal was to play college softball. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I think I kind of executed that when I was younger by putting in a lot of extra work. And then I just wanted to mention that a woman in my life um, who reminds me of Athena is, her name is Denise McMillan and she's my best friend's mom. Um, and she is an attorney for children um, like who have been sexually assaulted mm -hmm. in sexual cases. So she really inspired me. Um, and then currently, I think I identify with Artemis. And then after reading um, Dr. Beck's, Beck's comments on my papers, also Persephone. And oh, I think did that I, make sense, Melanie? Did, did my comments make sense? Yes, yes, they did. Okay. It helped me realize I like okay. I identify with more than one. Okay. Um, so for Persephone, I identify with her mostly because of my empathy towards others. Um, I tend to really understand people's feelings and I can put myself in their shoes and see where people are coming from. Um, but I think the biggest in my life right now is Artemis because I'm very um, fierce and defensive with the people I love and I'm very short tempered. Um, like I had a meeting with one of my softball coaches at the end of our fall season and she actually described me as short-tempered. So I used that as an example. Um, also, I don't, in, intimacy has never been something that I've needed in my life. Um, like that's just, you know, sexual intimacy, physical intimacy. It's just not something that I need personally. And Artemis is described as the virgin goddess. So I included that. Um, and as I said earlier, I'm very defensive with my friends. So, you know, I kind of seek for them to look to me for protection and I'm always there if they need me in any situation. Also, um, I look super young, like my looks, um, I'm 21 years old, but a lot of times I get confused for 16 or 17 and Artemis is described as eternally youthful. And I just thought that that was coincidental, coincidental as well because I, come off as super young. And then another fact about me, I do not want children. And um, that relates to Artemis. She's kind of, she doesn't want children. She just likes to protect them and be there for them and kind of be a guardian. So what I anticipate later in life, kind of who I want to strive to be again is Athena um, because Artemis is very fierce and passionate and protective Athena is very confident and competitive 
and she comes up with a plan and she executes that plan. And um, I eventually want to be a business owner. So, you know, in order to do that, I'm going to have to strategize my plans for the future and think very strategically and reasonably. And I think ju that just lines up with Athena. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to reach that goal, I'm going to have to be very confident in everything that I do. So, yeah, that is very all. good. Okay, so Melanie, that that makes a lot more sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Okay, good. All right, that's that's. I felt bad writing the stuff, but if the students understand, like that's the point. So, I appreciate that. Um, Dolana. Yes, Professor. You ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, let me share my screen. There we go. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is me, Dolana Khatun. And now I am going to present uh, the goddesses paper, the similarities between goddesses and me. So uh, I found uh, myself as the reflection of many other goddesses like Artemis, Hestia, Apollo, Athena, and uh, Hera. Firstly, I am going to talk about the similarities between uh, Artemis and me. <clears throat> so I found myself as the similar uh, from my childhood, uh, childhood um, be, uh, in uh, Artemis archetype, like uh, achievement and competence. Uh, like uh, Artemis was independence from men and male opinions. Uh, so. <clears throat> my whole life from childhood to motherhood was so challenging and competitive and uh, <clears throat> i was so independent and determined to achieve my goals and uh, i i always uh, uh, confident uh, about myself to complete my higher education and uh, uh, but uh, i have also some negative sides uh, like athena like, uh, like i got angry very fast and accepted any kind of challenge without thinking any effect uh, like um, and that can be bad or good effect on me but i always accept the challenge like whoever like challenge me i always accept that uh, <clears throat> Secondly, I want to say how Hestia archetype impacts on me. Like uh, I, I was so uh, like uh, inspired by one quotation uh, from Hestia. Like Hestia's way of perceiving uh, is by looking inwards and intu intuitively sensing what is going on, and uh, through inner focusing, we can perceiving the essence of a good situation. So from this, uh, uh, from this uh, archetype, I like I inspired a lot. Like I always love to take take uh, take care of my family, and I I'll always love to take responsibility of my whole family because from the childhood I was so um, uh, like independent minded, and I uh, like. <clears throat> I did uh, tuition and I always doing my uh, like uh, work by myself and uh, from the childhood I uh, take my whole family responsibility and uh, my younger sister's uh, responsibility and the responsibility for their education and uh, I always try to give financial support to my family uh, like one example. <clears throat> 
like from the uh, early life i got a scholarship and i always try to give this money or this uh, uh, financial support to my family because uh, my family is is so poor and needy family so i have to see all these things and i always respect myself what i can do and what uh, <clears throat> i have to do and uh, ability to overcome any difficult situation uh, like <clears throat> when i for feel some difficult situation i always think that how to, can i overcome this and what is the solution for this so uh, next i found uh, like i uh, uh, how apollo inspired me like apollo was loyal hard working and career centric god i was also like uh, loyal and hard working from my childhood uh, to uh, my whole life and <clears throat> i always try to i always love to work very hard and <clears throat> i uh, i want to do a very good job in future and uh, good at science and math uh, from my early life like <clears throat> i was very good at science and math that's so why i uh, choose i uh, will choose my uh, like uh, like major subject in science major and i always love to do math and uh, i was independent and determined that i have already said and uh, i did not depend on others uh, and i always try to do something creative and uh, like uh, i love to nurture then i found myself similarities with like athena and athena is a goddess of wisdom courage inspiration and civilization law and justice strategic warfare mathematics strength strategy and the arts craft and skills so i was also like uh, determined and hard working strength and wisdom and inspiration uh, necessary for doing work i have i have uh, i feel myself all time inspired by myself to do all kinds of job and uh, like i uh, courage and determination to have a um, <clears throat> great career i um, and provide financial support to women's education like i want to do a very good job and i want to provide i want to um, like uh, support the um, those family who are needy and those the those women who are who um, can, cannot Uh, do their education so and lastly i want to say i found uh, myself some similarities with uh, hera and me because hera is the goddess of marriage and birth i uh, last like uh, in 2020 i did married <laughs> like i got married and but i did not <laughs> give any uh, birth to his children and uh, like uh, jealous and vengeful towards the many lovers and of scream uh, of her husband and that's uh, hera and but uh, i did love marriage with my husband and this uh, is the similarities with me and i angry and i feel angry and jealous when uh, like he was talking to others i was very positive with my husband and it's a, a, like a similarities between me and hera so that's all these are the reference section uh, thank you very much for listening to me very complicated life <laughs> yes professor it's so complicated okay so you want to unscreen share yes okay any comments or questions so you're still married and your husband thinks it's great that you're doing so well yeah. in college very good <laughs> yeah still married and i lead a happy married life with my husband <laughs> very good he, um, he always supports me to like uh, complete my higher education good. and always inspired me that's great um toma um i already discussed yeah okay uh 
Tadia. Yes, Professor. Professor, I cannot share my screen. Can was were you one of the ones that sent me? Yes, Professor. Yes, here we go. I can do this. Okay, is that you? Yes, Professor. Okay, so, um, so I will scroll down. I, yeah, Professor. Okay. Go okay, ahead. So you, I'm can sorry, start, you can start your talk. I'm presenting the goddesses and sorry. the goddesses uh, in me. So here, the three types of uh, characteristics which are like related with me is like the Artemis, and then Athena, and the Capriti. So in my childhood, so here, uh, like yep. Professor, can you scroll yep. down? Here is the uh, the this is my the statement which is like I can connect it with most of their characteristics since each goddess has a strong desire to. To do great things and release motivation and energy that which assist me in achieving my goals. So here are some quotes which I like most uh, for the goddesses and which are like help me to like uh, related myself. So for the Artemis within the human human culture, human needs you to go all the work they need to go. They would never like have the energy uh, to to go beyond repro reproducting and doing whatever else is necessary to survive. You uh, like you provide courage when our mortal faces dangers, physical and psychological. And then Athena stop, it's like, it's my favorite good to stop me now, no longer when I'm angry to be gone. And whenever gift you her orders you, give me a gift uh, it when I come back to bear to my home, choosing a right beautiful one. It shall bring you in words in return. And where did you get the quote? The Athena quote I find in uh, like uh, to like read the some read one uh, quotes dialogue. He, uh, he, uh, he, like in the Google, I just like found many kind of uh, quote for Athena. So I like this most. Okay, it it doesn't really describe anything that we talked about. So I you know. It's, you'd have to explain it in terms of what we were talking about. It doesn't talk about justice. It doesn't talk about leadership, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, and then what do you have for Aphrodite? Her passion for, her passion for Earth, planet, the seeds for, for my specific connections between my love and Earth in the environmental yeah, movement. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so in my childhood, it's, it's like in, like it's very much related in Artemis because I'm so much like uh, so much like determined or like I'm in just in the study life not other things I'm like the so much like determined in the study and I'm like doing uh, great in the school and also I'm very attentive in the class just I'm in this like in my education, but in my study level, I'm not. I I didn't even do anything. It's like I don't have any. It's like any uh nature. So it's like attend. Uh, it's like to cope up with the families and others. I'm just in my uh, study, and like for this, I did great result in the school, and then the, I'm the class rep representative and monitor in the class, and I'm gradually it's like doing great in my schools, like always get first uh, in the classes. So here, like the, and it's like, I'm so much afraid about my results. So my family also support us, like help to support me. Like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Because my whole life in the childhood, it's like, it's in the study. So for this, like, sometimes I'm very depressed. Sometimes I'm very, it's like happy. Or sometimes I, it's for my, it's like the bad result. I'm very ang angry. And then I, it's like, get, sometimes I'm like, uh, harm myself for like why like uh, my result is not that much good or th that's it so I'm related it like my childhood in the Artemis okay so next slide so my teenage is like kind of like related in the Athena so because for like after like my uh, 
after my uh, finish my school level when i'm in college so now like i have some passion i have some like goal to achieve like uh, after after my school so i like join some kind of like sports in like my uh, i'm in the i'm a national shooter so my biggest achievement and like my life that i'm the national gold medalist in my uh, in shooting so every like for that for that uh, moments like i it encouraged me to do some things like in the field so then after after that uh, it's after that i'm like doing great in the sports then the like the shootings and other badminton and i'm also joining the like uh, the uh, the music uh, music classes then the dance classes because it's uh, it's like it helps to like uh, get my it's like with my in uh, with my it's like things which like like help me to be happy so like the for shooting i like uh, achieve many things and for this kind of things uh, like uh, the people's are uh, recognizes me by this and they are like uh, they are like like say that you are uh, you are the motivator of uh, um, yeah yeah you are the motivator and they are like uh, get inspired by me and which is like help me to like help me to also inspire because this kind of like comments like helps me to help me to like to uh, to uh, will uh, like do great in the future so that kind of things are like related in uh, myself within athena so my luck now i'm like related myself as a like prodi so like for her like for this kind of activities than the like the for sports of the for performing uh, when i get some money uh, from that i try to help the people who are needy people and for this achievement money i always like help the person who are like who wants to do something by won cuz cuz when i am like the uh, like uh, in my uh, shooting sports my sometimes my family didn't support cuz they are like they want to be they want me to do something like uh, do something like the job material or something like after, please finish your uh, finish your study don't harm your study like uh, to doing the extra curriculum activities but uh, it's like all about my passion passion cuz by this extra curriculum studies like all the world recognizes me and all the people recognizes me and for this kind of things i uh, in aww uh, i get a scholarship so so it means a lot and for this uh, things i always try to help the people who wants to do something with her own and for like the i want to do many for like for environmental factors so i always love the nature what like with the trees and plantation so i i'm the member of the the chilakthoma organization which is which is go for the like the the nature nature they they uh, they hear the all are the nature loving and they try to uh, try to keep the nature like good so i am the member of this and for i am also it's like loving to help the people who are like uh, so who are like uh, who are like need to help so i am the youth chief of the red crescent society so to help the people who need to like the uh, medically need the medical uh, help miss everything so here yeah that's all very good okay any questions or comments actually uh, go ahead, Martha. someone asked you to check the chat box please some of our classmates okay yeah what would you like me to check uh i think rafa sent you some messages and she said if you check it please uh, 
Oh, could I record a video when I'm talking and open it? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we can do that during class. Is that what you're thinking of, Marzia? Uh, I don't know what she said, but she just told me that ask professor to check the chat box. Right, okay, that's that's something for after class, I think. So yeah, and during the class, because I think you are already recording, so it's not possible to to be right. all record at the same time. Right. I'll I'll just, you know, she can do it and I'll check it after class and I can send it forward to everyone else too. Um all right, so Bristi already presented. Uh Rafa, did you already present? I didn't. Oh, you didn't, Marcia. Sorry. No professor. Okay, go ahead. That's fine. Uh, professor, I have shared my uh, presentation to you. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I actually Thanks. have it here. Um, here we go. There we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. Hello, everyone. And uh, this is the presentation, The Goddesses and I. Uh, professor, next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, I wanted to uh, shortly talk about three, three different parts of my life, uh, uh, which is childhood, high school, and present life. And there is a, a beautiful quote uh, about the growth that I want to say. I am really sorry because I don't know who have quoted this, but I liked it. This says that growth is a process. Uh, sorry, Professor, I cannot see the screen fully oh all right let's see um yeah uh, it says that growth is a process you gain you lose you cry you grow you learn you try you fail but you keep trying time is the real luxury i really love this quote because this is what our real life is yes we lose and we cry for that and we learn from what we lose and we gain so uh, more importantly, we try to keep going anyway, uh, and that happens to us. And about my childhood, uh, uh, I do not remember uh, a lot, but what my moms and my family members and my siblings tell me that I was really introverted child. Uh, and also I was really quiet. And uh, whenever something made me sad or whenever I wanted something, I just didn't shout. And I just was quiet, keep quiet. And I didn't go outside a lot to play with other children. And I mostly spend my time at home. And uh, I just sometimes played with my cousin that she is the same age as I am. And whenever my mom says that whenever we had a fight with each other, I just came at home and keep quiet and was angry and didn't talk anymore. But she was cry going and crying and uh, like asking her mom that we did something. But I didn't uh, ask my mom anything about that. Just keep quiet. And also I was so dependent. You, uh, you know that whenever mom, my mom was not at home, I feel like there is some hole in my heart and I feel that hole. And I really love my mom that I still love. And I think that she is the heart of my life uh, and yeah I depended in my family a lot but during the high school many things changed for me because my family my parents and my uh, elder siblings decided to change my school because uh, in our province the school that I was studying was not that quality was not good so they decided to send me in another city in a private school and me and my younger brother, he, we have six years age gap. Uh, and uh, on that time, like uh, the first year we were alone, uh, far away of my family. And I was just a high school student. But anyway, uh, I was really careful. Uh, I, I remember that I was so careful toward my life and toward my studies. Uh, and I was just busy with myself in school uh, that uh, uh, for example, my friends in school, they were uh, gathering parties, uh, they were uh, making fun with each other, spending time out of school with each other, but I was not mostly with them. Uh, because uh, what was so uh, weird for me that when they were together, for example, they played the 
the game truth and there and after that when they discovered something about each other they were talking about uh, each others uh, and somehow like gossiping for me it was so weird and i prefer to go in my home and sleep rather than spending time that way and also during the high school uh, I was so determined on my goals uh, and I preferred to achieve my goals uh, and be active in school. I was listening to my studies and also during the uh, high school, I when I think about my high school right now, I think I was so much focused. I just thought about my goals, about my family, about my life and I was mostly in myself. And also uh, during the high school, I uh, was the time that I started being independent. I, le I learned how to, uh, how to overcome my own problems, how to deal with my pains, or uh, uh, I have learned that uh, how to keep uh, how to keep what I have for myself uh, because uh, I thought that whenever I share one of my sadness with my family it makes them sad so I decided to keep it for myself to uh, do not increase the sadness and also about my present life I think I become more extroverted than the past I I come I like uh, it is so uh, for me it is easy to talk with others and, and it's in gathering and also uh, like uh, I am dedicated I feel I am so dedicated and I want to achieve my goals and also uh, I think uh, right now I care about myself and about my health more than the past yeah, because I think uh, first of all my priority in my life is my health and I think uh, if I'm not healthy I cannot achieve my goals and also I uh, I I, I accept myself the way I am and I prefer to be be myself and also I, I think I am more experienced it has been like a long uh, time that I am living far away of my family and uh, and during this this especially during this past two years which was the most uh, difficult parts of my life but i have learned many things and yeah that's why i say i am experienced next slide please yeah and here is the combination of the characteristics that i think i have first histia you know that one of uh one of the uh, characteristics that histia has is satisfied and the meaning of my name in my language it means satisfied and pleasant uh, and I think we, I have much common with Hestia and also I care, I am so compassionate and uh, forgiving. Sometimes I think that I care about so small things that for others it thinks uh, like not, for others maybe it thinks, it, it seems silly. For example, I care about my, uh, my mom's feeding. I care uh, what she thinks. Sometimes I think that, no, she should not think this way because it makes her more sad. And I think about, I care about my friend. I care about my family. And also uh, like optimism. Uh, I really enjoy my company. I am, uh, for me, it is not sad to be alone. I think uh, when I am alone, I discover more things about myself. I know more about myself. And also, uh, I, I think, I think about myself, which I like thinking. And I think about myself, about my life and about my future. And also, I am so passionate about what I want and about my goals. And also, I think that I, uh, I, I fight for what I want because I believe we cannot get what we want easily in our life. This is what I have experienced. And also, uh, like Athena, I think I am uh, independent and I am confident. Uh, and also, uh, I have, I had a really great relationship with my father. Whenever I was with him, I thought that I am a real mature, a real adult because he respected me and he gave me the feeling that I should be respected and I am, uh, I am great. Uh, and also, uh, like Athena, Athena uh, archetype prefers the logic. Uh, the logic and prefers to choose her brain more than her heart. I think I always prefer to choose the logics even if it hurts me because uh, I mostly think uh, in the end for, for me, like the feelings just 
for the uh, for the moment which makes me happy is not important for me it is important like in the end what will happen or what uh, what um, what is the real thing for me i always prefer the facts and also uh, about like Dimitri, i really love children i care for children and i always i i think the children are like a creature which are so pure so cute and so loving but i have never thought about having my own child because i, I my I, uh, my characteristic is so far away of uh, like having a child of my own or being in a relationship something like that and also here i uh, i professor this slide please should I go to the next slide? No, these rhythms, these lines. Can you see them? Yes, yes. And uh, here are some things that I, as a, as a woman, I want to say that any archetype, are, uh, I believe all of these archetypes are beautiful in different ways. Maybe some of us have different archetypes, but we all are different, differently beautiful. And also, uh, I want to say that we women in any archetype that we are, uh, let's respect each other because uh, this is how uh, the world will respect us. And also, we should not judge each other. And we women, I think, we women should understand each other more than we should expect a man should, uh, should understand us because we we know that what our life is, we have more common with each other than, in, than men's. So yes, next slide, please. Yeah, and here are, I've listed the things that I really like to do in my life, uh, which is traveling. I really love traveling because I think by traveling, I can explore some new things about the world and I will learn some new things. And also about my education. I want to get a PhD and, and empower myself with the power of education. And also I want to, I want to know myself also uh, when I grow old, I want to know myself more, explore the new things about myself. And also I really like helping others. Inside this picture, there is a quote uh, which says that, do not waste your pains, use it to help others. I think pains always connect us with each other and makes us more understanding toward each other. So I think uh, like what this quote says, we should use our uh, our pains to help each other and, and understand each other. And also this photo is for children. I really like to work for children for their betterment and also work for women empowerment, uh, which is what I want to work for. And uh, sorry, Professor, there is a quote from Simone Dubois, the writer of Second Six book. She says that one is born, um, one is born but rather becomes a woman. Yes, uh, I think that as a child, uh, as she, she says for her book, that as a child, a boy and a girl are the same, but the societies make as our structure, like my uh, structure, my uh, character, uh, is the characteristic of an Afghan girl who was born in war and grew up in war. And uh, but what I wish is that I see my country in peace. My, uh, for example, the Dulana characteristic or Bristi or someone else is different. So the society has role. But what import, what is really important that we also have um, the power to uh, make our characteristic the way we want. Yeah, and this was my presentation. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, any questions or comments for Marzia? You all are. Yes, ma'am. It's really interesting. Yes. All right. We're going to have to keep moving. I, I'd rather be here all day, but I guess we can't. So, Bristi already presented, right? Uh, Kasturi, I don't, did you present? Uh, no, Professor, I'm presenting today. Okay. Should I? Yeah, I, could we have everybody raise their hand who has not presented yet? Fayaza. Okay. Soda, okay, we have... 
oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, eight more. So we have 40 minutes. So that means five minutes per presentation. So I'm sorry about that. I don't mind staying later. Okay, so here's another question. How many of you could stay later? How many of you can stay later? Uh, professor, we can't because we have the course registration at 10. So everybody has to register right at 10? Yes, yes professor. professor. Yes, 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 professor. professor. That's crazy. All, you all right, okay. so let's do five minutes. We, I didn't under, I didn't know that. Please, so, guys, do it fast because we everyone just being patient, right? Please. Okay, so Kasturi, um, go ahead. Uh, so, uh, good morning to you all. Uh, I'm going to present about the goddesses that uh, mostly relate to me that I can link the most. Okay, uh, so uh, for my research paper, uh, I have the thesis statement which states that a person acts virtuously if they possesses and leave the virtues. Uh, we know that uh, we human beings, although we have similar characteristics, uh, we are born with different potentials and virtues. And I think that it is important for us to live with the virtues that we possess, because uh, unless we present the potential skills and um, virtues that are within us then we can uh, we cannot become able to uh, present uh, to the people uh, what we are uh, so uh, the first goddess that i can link myself to is a demeter uh, so demeter is the goddess of earth and motherhood So I think that, uh, so uh, first of all, I want to apologize because um, uh, I am a world philosophy student as well. And uh, when I went through the uh, archetypes of different goddesses that we studied in this course, I could relate uh, the readings with the uh, virtues by Aristotle that I studied in uh, world philosophies class, then I thought of linking uh, these uh, archetypes with the uh, virtues that I had learned. So uh, the first virtue that Demeter poses is humanity. Um, uh, Demeter, uh, she recognizes the vulnerability of babies. She, uh, she was very caring towards uh, kids and she uh, used to uh, nurture the earth as well. So uh, maybe because uh, I was grown up and brought up in an orphanage, uh, I am more into uh, caring uh, of kids around me. And I really understand and acknowledge the situations that people go through and the sufferings they go through. Uh, one thing that I have never talked about uh, in um, the class so far is that uh, before coming to the orphanage, I was grown up in, uh, I was, um, I was born in a village where people uh, strived a lot. They went through a lot of sufferings. And uh, now as an adult, whenever I go to village, I meet uh, many people and they tell me that uh, I used to take care of babies a lot. I used to babysit them. So yeah. Uh, the next uh, God that I can link myself with is uh, Apollo. Uh, so I think that I can link myself with uh, God Apollo uh, because uh, most of my characteristics really uh, match with him. God Apollo was the god of archery, music and dance, truth and prophecy, healing and diseases, sun and light and poetry. So um, God Apollo, he was... Uh, he used to control himself a lot. He was not fascinated by love. And uh, 
uh, speaking honestly, uh, I, I believe that uh, since I am a very self-determined uh, um, individual, I think that uh, at some point uh, love can affect me. That's why I, I am never fascinated by love. And uh, God Apollo, he used to seek father figure for guidance, even uh, after uh, being mature enough uh, who could lead his life on his own. And um, I myself uh, take uh, my uh, guardian of the orphanage as a father figure who has been guiding me since my childhood until now. And uh, God Apollo, he had self-knowledge. Uh, I think that uh, the most uh, fascinating and uh, interesting thing that I learned about him is that he recognized education as a necessity because uh, he was a very good um, a learner and a very good student. I have to say he, uh, he used to uh, believe that education uh, is the most important thing because like, since he was not fascinated by uh, law of attraction and these things, uh, he uh, he um, got to pursue his higher education in very tough subjects like medicine and other difficult subjects. Uh, so yeah. Uh, next uh, archetype that I can relate to is uh, Athena. So uh, Athena was the goddess of justice, wisdom, and war. And uh, she used to uh, rectify the uh, wrongs that people used to commit. Uh, she used to criticize uh, males of the society for the way they used to victimize uh, females in the society. And uh, she poses practical wisdom as a virtue because she used to convince men to value both uh, men and women. And uh, as a god of uh, justice, she uh, just didn't used to speak up things, but she used to implement the idea of equality between male uh, and females. I think that I can uh, link myself to uh, goddess Athena because uh, I worked a lot as a prefect of school for more than two years and I was always the head and uh, of the class, I was then the class representative for each and every classes I have attended so far until my high school. Uh, I am strategic in the sense that uh, since I am a lover of world philosophies and um, I can implement the things that I have learned so far in uh, philosophies, I can use uh, techniques in order to convince people. Uh, I have always been a, I have always been an individual who raised voice for uh, victims uh, who have gone through victimization. So uh, when I was a, a school student, I never uh, used to let my female friends to be dominated by uh, male friends. Uh, also, uh, I'm, it's not just limited to protecting my school friends, but then uh, whenever I see myself uh, in a society, I feel that um, as, a, as a good uh, student and as, a, as an individual who is into education a lot, I think that I should use, utilize the knowledge that I have acquired so far for the um, welfare of the society that I grew up in because uh, it is how the world works. Uh, so this is the last archetype that I can relate to. Uh, it's uh, Hestia. Hestia. So Hestia was the goddess of home, hearth, and fire. Uh, uh, Hestia, she uh, had uh, rational humor. Uh, she uh, was very true and uh, she was forgiving in nature. Uh, rational humor because she was a good counselor. Uh, we know that Hestia uh, is the weakest uh, archetype that we have uh, studied so far, but then uh, as, um, as it is uh, true that we human beings uh, are uh, uh, 
uh, beautiful in our own way. Uh, uh, so I think that uh, Hestia, uh, I know that she has a lot of weaknesses, but then uh, she used to uh, be considered a lot. She used to help people. She was independent and she used to the most uh, uh, important thing about STI is that she used to accept the way she was. She used to uh, identify all the weaknesses she had and whenever she communicated with other goddesses, she used to accept the weaknesses that she had. And I think that the most important thing in our life is to accept the way we are because unless we learn to uh, accept the way we are, we cannot um, accept people the way they are and if we cannot accept the way the world runs then we cannot fit into the world that we grow up in and uh, so i can relate myself to hestia because i i really love educating people around me because i think that uh we human beings belong to different generations and it's not uh, uh, really true that uh, people of each generation will have the knowledge of each and every generation. So it's important that we teach our older generations these things uh, and lessons that are important in the present generation. And we, the uh, generations of present should gain knowledge from the past generation people and that will help us educate our future generations as well. Uh, I have been, uh, um, I have been a, uh, a uh, lover of counseling a lot since my childhood. It might be because I grew up in an orphanage and I uh, liked working with kids a lot. And also as a high school student, I have pursued psychology and I aim uh, of studying psychology uh, in my uh, undergrad and graduate school as well. And uh, I really look forward into becoming a good uh, psychosocial counselor. And um, so, um, I think that uh, again, uh, I'm repeating the sentence that we should uh, accept the way we are and uh, learn to accept the people they are, uh, the way they are as well. And uh, I think that um, we have, you know, we should never underestimate and overestimate our power, talents, and knowledge because the, um, because if we do that, then we can never become happy in life, and we can never see the world around us. Uh, making uh, our sense if we pose such type of attitude okay that's that's it all right yeah. okay let's see. thank you okay so i have uh i have another i have another plan we, are, we do have a time set aside for the final paper for this class, right? Um, there's a final exam schedule and that is at 9 a.m. on Sunday the 5th. Is that true? Did you guys all look that up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, so we will meet together that day also to finish up these presentations, all right? So everybody gets a chance. Um, what? What is the date? Okay, it's December, December 5th at 9 a.m. That's the, that's the final exam schedule set aside, the time that's set aside, okay? And yes, professor. Uh, professor, I think that I will have my exam of another subject that day. I don't think so because you know, actually, uh, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so we have uh, exam of uh, subjects uh, from 9 a.m. Uh, I mean, uh, we have exams at 9 a.m. for those subjects uh, that we used to do from 8 to 10, right? I think that I have my exam of economics. If uh, it won't take place, then I will attend. Okay. I mean, the problem is if you're signed up for two classes, I, well, anyway, whatever. If you can't come, you can't come. But we will meet again at 9 a.m. On, on Sunday the 5th and so that everybody can do their presentation. Um, yeah? 
we have a problem like i will uh, like <clears throat> return to the campus on 5th december so well okay i mean each person has a particular issue but i mean right now we need to get a couple more of them done and you can contact me if you can't i just want to make sure that everybody got their chance okay that's the main okay. thing um okay mahira yeah okay oh, ma'am those who have given their presentations they also have to come because in yeah everybody should come because it was the final time so it was you were required to come to finals so yeah everybody should come so that everybody listens to everybody right oh, and because, then uh, and there's one more thing i would like you to meet individually with me about your final research paper um and i will have office hours at the normal times every day but that day until the papers are due on december 9th okay so I will type that into the announcements, but I would like to meet with you about your final papers before you hand in the final draft. And I will type all of that in. But right now we need to get back to the presentations because there's a lot of them left and it's very hard. It's hard to, I don't like to break people up and I wish more people were prepared and all that stuff but we have to keep moving forward. So who else, they're all very good and I appreciate them. And I'm so sorry that we're in a hurry. So Habiba, are you next? Yes, right. Professor. So I, go ahead. Okay. So, there we are. Okay, can you see my? Yes. Slide? Okay, thank you. Hello, good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing well. This is Habiba. Today I'm going to present uh, the most natural thing between me and the goodness. So, what is goodness? The process of the goodness is a female uh, who's same as beautiful as God. And that has been connected with this morality, including like love, confidence, creativity, and powers. So we all know, like uh, every woman. Sorry, I can see this. So we all know that uh, every woman has a goodness in their insight, like uh, self love, uh, self uh, understanding, and confidence. The seller projects self understanding and it changes their action. When we recognize uh, what we have ourselves have experienced, feel confident because of the truth, and then it helps to take uh, on, on other field, uh, further more action and understanding. It makes us an understanding contribution to the humanities as well as help to be a strong leader and in women empowerment movement. Uh, so depending on which goodness is uh, more active, women might be more committed to achieving professional success uh, while they become more confident and achieving their goal. So this is uh, the climb of my essay. And like, uh, although I am a little bit stubborn since my childhood, yet there are many things uh, which are the most natural to me between me and the goodness, uh, the goodness and Tina, like uh, hard working, encouraging children education and patience, and also confidence. And this proposal make me uh, what I want to be in the future. So uh, here are the records of the goodness and Tina, uh, which are similar to me with my real life. Uh, she was further the sample of wisdom and courage, was the supporter, protness of the uh, of the greatest city. This, these are all hard quotes that I compare with my essay, with my uh, real life. And her, uh, her life was patient to protect. Uh, she, uh, she was a passionate woman to protect uh, and lead to the people of Athens. Uh, 
and she uh, she wished to be radius rather than act right. So this this theory quotes of the goddess Antina inspire me to compare my real life and my personality, like who was I am and what I initiate to be in the future. So uh, first of all, like uh, how to again and uh, uh, I described about my how to again. If I say about uh, shortly about myself. Uh, I am very punctual and hardworking person for education uh, since my childhood life. Uh, also, I am very trustworthy and very and always try to meet what I targeted. Uh, even that during a school life, I like to manage all the students and if teacher are not in the if teacher we are not in the classroom. And I studied hard. Also, I earned an excellent from the teacher. And I am not the type of person who gets up, puts a uh, big challenges and back down. Then uh, encouraging and helping people. The encouraging and helping people is also an important thing. Uh, as we know, uh, as we know that uh, the child, uh, children need more support uh, during their life. They are uh, to interest in their education. As sometimes they are uh, demotivated uh, in potential education and trouble in, in trouble in learning progress. So uh, as I have the experience of motivating children because I taught them uh, uh, for about two years before coming to at AUW and I worked there uh, with many children uh, in my country. So I feel that uh, that experience that I have gained from working with young people and I, it will motivate me to work, uh, uh, to work further more in the future. Uh, if, uh, if you know also, if uh, we like to motivate uh, the children, so many children will be try harder to move forward with certain goal, and also uh, they will, they will go positively to make their life success. Then this is counter argument, but uh, uh, stubborn. If I compare uh, to the goddess Antina, this is her quote. If I compare, uh, if I compare to this quote, I I feel like uh, I'm a little bit stubborn because uh, like having a uh, having having a strong attitude. Sometimes I become uh, so much stubborn to the point if I cannot understand and people and and they do not and sometimes if they don't like to impress my opinion at the same time I don't want to consider their opinion rather than believing uh, which is difficult to handle. Um, all, although uh, stubborn can be uh, a strong, uh, it, it can be have a strong uh, leadership qualities uh, because I think Australian is not that much rules uh, because we just want to make understand what uh, uh, when everyone is trying uh, to tell that I am wrong and that I am like doing that wrong. At that time, uh, it's not like dog. It, uh, it's not like that. Uh, for me, a stubborn is not that. It is a, also a leadership a skill. It helps to de determine uh, to go on their way of success. So this is our view of my essay. Uh, uh, this um, this uh, study is, is uh, focuses on uh, between the relationship between the goddess Antina and me. Uh, so there are many things that I describe uh, between the goddess and me. Uh, so if I think a woman is uh, strong enough and confident, uh, it will be it will help to do whatever they want. It will also show automatically her confidence and action uh, to their audience to the audience. Thank you. Okay. So, any questions or comments? Okay, you want to get rid of the screen share there and we'll move oh. to some. Okay. Um, all right, we have room, we have time for one more. Raise your hand if you have not presented yet. I want to know how many will be left 
when on uh, Sunday. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we'll have time for one more and then we'll have five of them on Sunday. And um, we will have, um, uh, we can talk a little bit about your research paper at that time after everyone's done presenting. So, okay, Amina, go ahead. Okay, Miss, thank you so much. I would like to share my screen. Yeah, Miss, can you show me my screen? There you go. Uh, yes, Miss, thank you so much. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Amina, as uh, most of you know. Uh, because in this course, I'm your uh, classmate. Uh, so as everyone know today, uh, we are talking, uh, we are presenting about uh, us and the goddesses. And so I would like uh, to write my final paper based on independence uh, because uh, independence is uh, independent is very important because it promotes confidence and self-esteem as well as motivation wait, in school your, and other wait, places. Wait, is this the goddesses paper or your final paper? Uh, miss, it's uh, related to my, my final paper, which is also included goddesses as you can see here. Well, there are two different papers though, right? Uh, yes, miss. If this is your final paper, I, somebody else should really go because did you present on your goddesses paper? Uh, no, miss, I would will, I will like to present now. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Yes, miss. Okay, uh, because uh, like uh, parents should make uh, their child an independence because many unexpected things could, have, uh, could happen that will prevent their children from being able to take care of themselves. Uh, therefore, independent teach the children how to take care of themselves. Like it is, uh, it is not what parents do for their children, but what parents have taught them to do for, uh, for themselves that will make their their uh, child uh, their children successful human being so uh, because in 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 the male dominated society parents are not able to give equal independent equal independence in the education part to male and female uh, because uh, like many women um, uh, their school drop out rate have have been in places over the years because of the uh, the kind of abuse uh, girls experience in their school. Like some parents don't stand for their children's right because going against society have negative impact and might lose their family dignity. So uh, I would like to talk about the goddesses which is related to me in this case. One of the goddesses rela uh, related um, archetype is uh, Artemis because she was very independent in her life, which make and encourage her to be a strong and powerful woman to support others in any case. So in, in this case also in men and men, male dominated society, if parents give their children full independence, like equal independence to male and female, so I think it could help out to, uh, to, uh, like, uh, to solve the problem. Uh, and, other, and also another related gorgeous archetype is uh, also Athena because uh, she was uh, very uh, like innovative, like or original and creative thinking in inspire others and also help them to motivate in any case. Uh, also because if we are hard worker, so no one can uh, like no one can like no one can say anything to us because we are owned by ourselves. We are not dependent to anyone. So that's also my point. And impo uh, the importance of education for women in, in male, do male do uh, dominated society, it's, it's a very high rate for women especially because women education results in promoting self-respect. Most importantly, like it's helped 
in raising the status of women. Because some a male think that women can do anything what a man male can do. And also like um, education make women aware of their rights, which can help her to fight against social evils such as uh, domestic violence and the male dominated society in the in the male in the male dominated society. So in this case, in my whole paper, I'm more like I'm I'm I like I always like to be an encourager or inspire to others and also help to others. So I'm more like uh, to Athena and Artemis because they both are uh, in the, uh, like Athena and Artemis has more characteristics similar to me because they are independent and also like to help others and innovative. So uh, that's all, ma'am. Thank you so much. If you have any question, please ask. Okay. You want to fin? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, so let me once again write down the names of the people that are going to present next Sunday morning at nine o'clock. Um, so raise your hand and I'll write down your name. Fatima, Sauda, Janifa, and Fayaza, okay? All right, so we have five minutes and um, let me explain once again. So we'll meet next Sunday at nine, and then your papers are due on Thursday. Let's see, Thursday morning. Let's see, oh, come on. The following Thursday, the, okay. Okay, the papers are due on Thursday, December 9th at, I'll just say um, uh, noon, okay? Noon Bangladesh time. Um, and uh, you are required to meet with me at some point about the, your conference. So we can talk about what you want to say. Um, all right. Any other questions? We've gone over the content of the final paper numerous times and it's on video. I don't really want to go over it again. You can look on a video about that. Um, and I think it's all written down also, but mostly it's, you know, you pick what you anticipate doing and you find all the networking related to that activity connected to what you might network with after you graduate. Um, I have a request. Can you please uh, increase the time uh, for Bangladeshi time uh, 11.59 a.m. like this wow. like midnight, uh, Thursday midnight in Bangladesh time. Can you raise this time from noon to midnight? No, it's noon Bangladeshi time. Oh, well, actually, <laughs> I just no, I I can't because I have to get the grades in a few days later, and it takes me about an hour per paper. So that's why. The grades are due, I, let's see, papers due. Um, uh, like most of the papers due is 10th uh, December, uh, like uh, others, that's why I'm saying this. Oh, are the papers due on the 10th of December? Like in my WSCM course, uh, no, not WSCM, like uh, other course, this is 10th December, it's ETHR. And uh, okay. so okay. I <laughs> Okay, I thought the 9th was the last day to hand things in. I thought that's what the administration said, but okay. So you can do it noon on the 10th, that's fine. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you sure. so much. Um, 
I just, I tried to make it as late as possible, but that's fine. Noon on the, on the 10th. Um, any other questions or, yeah, somebody else can alert me to what's going on if I don't know. Um, it, I'm going to start working on reading your papers, but it just takes a long time. And I have to drive 15 hours to Arkansas and I have to spend some time at Lyon, but I'll be in my office most of the time and I'll just keep working away. So, well, I, I love your presentations and I know all of you have many gifts. And um, so the main point here is that we have different gifts, but the same spirit, like we're, we're going to tie these different gifts to the same goals. And you just learn to work with people from who have different archetypes. But as you work in your profession, you're going to get more and more related to people with your similar archetype, right? Because if you're Athena, you might decide to be a lawyer. And so you'll spend a lot of time with other lawyers, but you will work for you know, your clients will not be lawyers, they'll be people who need you. And so it is good to understand all these different kinds of people and to be patient with them. For example, um, sometimes a lawyer in the US, I'm not sure, but some woman will let herself get abused and a lawyer will, you know, try to tell her, well, you need to you can get a, a protection statement. You can get a legal statement that says he cannot see you. And if he does, he'll get arrested. But she defends him and she won't sign the document. And, and so then the Athena woman gets impatient, right? Why do you keep enabling your husband? But, you know, if you understand that certain women are so attached to being married, that they, they just can't bring themselves to getting their husband arrested, right? Uh, and so just things like that, just sort of learning to understand or anticipate that these things are gonna happen, that'll be very frustrating, but you just sort of hope she grows out of it and she gets beyond it and she stops depending on being the wife of that man. So sometimes it just takes time and just things like that. That's what I, I, I hope all of you, I assume all of you will really get it over a lifetime. So, okay, I'm going to let you go and I'll see you next Sunday morning, Bangladesh time. Yes, Professor, thank you so much. I, like, I loved you. this journey very much. Okay. Like, I, I, loved, I enjoyed this class. Like, yeah, I enjoy <laughs> teaching it a lot. <laughs> It's yeah. so amazing. I wish I could send the videos to some friends or something. I wish everybody could know <laughs> what goes on at AUW because the students are so amazing. Um, you are also so understanding and like uh, like uh, pretty for all of us and always try to understand our problem. So thank you so much for like- uh, Of course. Uh, and that's why I don't want people to worry about being in a hurry. I mean, some student is telling us all about her talents. I don't, I'm not gonna interrupt her, you know? That's not, it's just, you know, life is like that so many times, time gets in the way, but I think we can handle this. And I hope the rest of you come on Sunday um, just to support your sisters here. You don't have to stay that long, you know, you can leave, but yeah, Thank it's you, good. Bye. we'll see you, Dolana. Thank you, Professor. Goodbye. Yep. Goodbye, Soda. Professor Sunday, I will also return to campus. Um, I am not so not sure that I will be uh, in the class or not. Okay. I tried to because I thought that I will journey in the 4th of uh, December night and then uh, in the early of the morning, I will return to the campus so that I could join the, all the classes. That's okay. That's you my intention, watch, but I don't know what we will. You can watch the video. And so when you see that student, 
you can let her know that you watched her video, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. That would be good. She'd be happy to know. You know, if not as many people come, I'll just say, yeah. yeah, you can trust them that they'll watch you and, you know, it'll work out okay. Yeah, all of you have to... It. All, all of you have to overcome obstacles all the time. So this one isn't too bad. <laughs> so on Sunday, we have class, Professor. On, on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, because that's the scheduled final exam for this class. Oh, okay. So you shouldn't you, have Professor. an overlap. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Rahima. Okay, Professor, take care. Thank you. Yep, bye-bye, Rusty. Bye. Oh, I got to turn off the recording here.